Hello from Wandering Wanda. We are at Point South, I-95 US-7 in Yamasee, Yamasee, South Carolina. Okay, it's, it's a big site. <laughs> it's 50 feet, which it's 50 feet. So I've got a little bit of clearance here and a little bit in the front got a big green space between between the rigs trees and right now Starlink is trying to look for a signal so maybe putting it in the table will help hopefully I'm here for seven nights so I sprayed bug spray the cutter bug spray all the way around they I asked the front who told me to ask maintenance, who told me to ask another maintenance guy, who asked the proprietor. <laughs> All of them had to read the bottle. So, anytime I'm somewhere longer than uh, four days, this way, seven nights, I like spraying this. You get it at Lowe's or Home Depot, or it's equivalent, and it keeps the mosquitoes down and other bugs and since mosquitoes do live in the grasses during the daytime I like to spray it anyway this is the setup they're all very friendly here and the park is clean I've never seen this before they escorted me to the site which is the norm but the, the kid got out and sanitized wiped down the bib, the electrical, and the cable line. I've never seen that. So, very impressive. Oh, this is the other, this is the neighbor's site. So, it's it's fairly good size also. But 50 amps. And this is apparently the only site in the park. 50 amps is here. And the 30 amp is all the way over there <laughs> so it's two different connections they don't know why it just is for this particular site so sewer water water pressure is good from what I can tell washing my hands so there are a lot of I am surrounded by trees lots of trees nice park The weather is, is a little bit humid. Okay, we are 20 minutes to Hilton Head. About less than an hour to Charlotte. And 30 miles, about an hour to Savannah. But I'm here to see three national parks. And the rest of the time I was going to visit Savannah and Hilton Head, have lunch there. Hopefully not look at another condo. Hilton Head is the East Co the Irvine equivalent of the in the East Coast. It's so cute. Okay, there's still bugs flying around. Ugh. Okay. Hopefully this thing finds a signal. I, think, I guess it's still searching. Today we are at Congari. National Park in Hopkins, South Carolina. This 22,200 acre park protects the largest continuous tract of old growth bottomland hardwood forest remaining in the United States. Known for its giant hardwoods and towering pines, the park includes some of the tallest trees in the eastern United States. Essentially, it's one big swamp with lots of tall trees. That's what I've seen driving up here. It's actually very nice. Have you seen it? I have. I've seen it. Um, a friend of mine that works with the, East, with the American National Park's got one too. And, and we it. are doing the self-guided boardwalk tour. Here's the boardwalk. Okay, I am limping. A couple of days ago, I stepped out of the well actually not 
a week ago, a week and a half ago, I stepped out of the Airstream into the plastic doormat. I'll take a picture of that when I get back. Essentially, it went, it went, it went under me, and I s caught my foot wrong on it, slipped off it, and sprained my foot. So for the past morning, for the past week and a half, ten days, I have been hobbling in pain. I thought it was broken at one point, but looked at it, it swelled up overnight swelling went down pain was still there I've been taking Advil For a national park, they have very limited RV parking. No pull-throughs, it looks like they're all back in. Ridiculous. Today we are at Fort Sumpner National Monument in Sullivan's Island, South Carolina, which is in Charleston. The Civil War saw its first armed combat here in April 12, 1861, fueled by decades of disagreement and confrontation, South Carolina seceded in protest of Lincoln's election and the social economic changes sure to follow. The war became inevitable. So this is where the first shot was fired starting the Civil War. The fort itself is an island <laughs> And it's about a 20-30 minute ferry ride every two to three hours. Did not bring my patches and did not bring my bracelet. So we're not doing the, the sea thing. So I do not recommend driving here with your RV. Here is the road getting here. It's very narrow and they do not have RV park whatsoever. They've got this parking structure that's paid parking that I essentially went into and they actually have a sign right over here in the corner that says no commercial or RV traffic. At 4.30 a.m. April 12, 1861, Confederate gunners fired on Fort Sumter and the Civil War began. After 34 hours of non-stop shelling, Sumner's Union garrison surrendered, and on April 14th, the Confederates took the fort. Fort Sumter then became the focus of a bitter four-year struggle as Union forces tried to regain the fort and control Charleston Harbor. All right, so far I'm not enjoying this visitor center. Their elevator is out of commission and I have to climb these steps. Seriously? I did not realize it was an island fort and it's a ferry ride. It's way out there in the horizon. I did not bring my patches or my seasick band, so we are not doing that. Port of Charleston. Okay, that's why this was so important. We are driving around Charleston 
and these streets were not meant to be driven by full-size cars since I have a full-size truck the lane it's a two-lane road and it's really narrow so I'm driving around with the rear view mirrors in right now because I'm afraid they're gonna get hit it looks like it was gonna get hit already we are at the Reconstruction Era National Monument in Beaufort, South Carolina. Oh my God, this place is so much nicer than Charleston. Look at how pretty these homes are. Okay, aren't these homes adorable without some someone crossing the street? The Reconstruction Era, 1861 to 1898, found the U.S. struggling to integrate millions of newly freed African Americans into social, political, economic, and labor, si and labor systems. This site tells stories of transform, this site tells stories of transformation, hope, accomplishment, and disappointment. Okay, politically speaking, I don't understand why a lot of African Americans are Democrats. Democrats weren't the ones that freed them. It was the Republicans. The Democrats wanted to keep them in slavery. Again, the Democrats wanted to keep the African Americans in slavery. found a yarn store <laughs> today we are at the Charles Pickney National Historic Site in Sullivan's Island South Carolina which is North Charleston now I do not recommend bringing your rig here because the road getting here is a really really narrow two-lane road and also there is no RV parking whatsoever here is the parking lot that is the entrance and this is essentially the parking lot and the turn right over there is really tight so do not recommend bringing your rig in here whatsoever back to Charles Pickney Pinickney I'm not pronouncing it right I know that Charles Pinickney played a pivotal role in the development of the US Constitution and the country's transition from a group of colonies to a young nation his plantation was located here and is restored to illustrate the influences of African Americans in the development of this farm. Okay, we're in a plantation. Probably walk around. Doesn't look too big. Get our stamp. Oh, also they are open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. They're not open the rest of the week from 9 to 5.
beautiful plantation. This was mostly rice, rice fields. So glad we got rid of our rice plantation. Today we are at Fort Pulaski National Monument in Savannah, Georgia. In April 1862, Union troops breached the southeast angle of Fort Pulaski by directing an experimental rifle cannon at the fort leading to a quick success for the Union Army and rendering brick fortifications obsolete the siege was a landmark was a landmark experiment in military science now I do not recommend you driving your rig here only because once you get off the main highway you are driving through Savannah through a one-way through a very narrow one-lane road with cars parked on one side of the street and lots of pedestrians walking around so again do not bring your rig to this national monument just bring your toad or truck or just not your rig We've been here almost a week. This is our site, site 23. It's been really nice. They allowed me to spray the whole area with mosquito spray. And we're just gonna walk around today. They do have cabins sprinkled around. It's not all in one location, which is actually nice. And what you hear there is the freeway. It does die down about 7 o'clock. When you're inside your rig, you don't hear it. I don't hear it. Okay, that looks like their premium back end sights. Spaces are nice and long.
love the way it smells here. It's all the pine. The trees are slowly changing colors because of the fall. the owner's house I'm not really sure it's a nice double wide oh it's a dead end hello, hello good evening good evening Ooh. someone set up to oh this must be where the children are area glass containers in their pool area also. It's actually a good thing. I'm gonna go take a look at the laundry room. I didn't know this. They have a high capacity. Dryers. One, two, three, four. Oh. In a high capacity. They have an English phone booth and it says emergency on it. Do you feel propane? And they pick up the garbage in the mornings here. You just lay it out in front of your your site. Looks like they do have one where it's back to back. Never care for that. As long as it's only one. And there's the highway. <laughs> Here, these five spaces, maybe six, six spaces, are their work camp employees they've all been very nice here i've gotten packages from amazon and they deliver it to the rv site very nice okay thank you for watching bye the Civil War saw its first armed combat here in April 12, 1861, fueled by decades of disagreement and confrontation. Seriously? South Carolina in 1898 found the U.S. struggling to integrate mil- Oh God, there's a truck coming.
Okay, take 5,000. 